I love it. There's absolutely nothing standard about that, but we'll we'll call it the standard. I'll say drive. pretty hard. I might not even need the hard one. All right, Scotty. Well, we're asking for three shots, and what we'd love to know is how you hit your standard stock drive. That one where you're trying to get a little bit extra distance, maybe an extra 10 yards out of it, and then that low kind of squeeze, maybe into the wind, kind of knockdown shot. Yeah. So my stock one, I set up pretty normal. Everything's fairly square, and I usually try and see the ball fall a touch right. Mm -hmm. Um, but most of the time I usually just try and pick something specific out there and just aim at it. Like right now the wind's a little bit this way, right? Yes, Mike. What are we hitting at? <laughs> the Aberdeen? It's right in the gap. See the gap in the walls? The gap in the walls, yeah. And the tee height looks kind of, it looks a little tee. bit lower than average. Yeah. But a good height. Good height. Plenty of height on it. The one where, when I try and hit it harder, I'll tee it up higher. Okay. This is pretty average for me probably just above where the club head and what's the number that's your standard drive carry carry probably what do you think sky 290 295 yeah, close to three close to three happy here, days here in scotland a little shorter <laughs> <laughs> all right so all right, right between the gap it. the standard drive standard I love it. There's absolutely nothing standard about that, but we'll we'll call it the standard. I'll say pretty hard. I might not even need the hard one. <laughs> that was phenomenal, like frozen rope. Yeah, the wind kind of held it there a little to the left, but in the fairway. Yeah, that's textbook. Okay, that's going to be tough to top. But let's talk about that one where you just want to winding it up, like you just want to get that extra bit of oomph out of it. What scenario yeah. would you do that in? I mean, I would say on a hole like this, if it's blown a little bit harder into, and I need to cover those bunkers. Mm -hmm. Just to take him out of play, I'd hit it a little harder. Um, today, I don't need to, but what I do is I'll tee it up a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. I'll typically move it a little bit up in my stance. And I'll try and feel at the top like I'm there a touch longer and release it just a touch sooner. Do you try and hit it any harder? Sometimes, but most of the time it's better if I just feel it release a little sooner. I usually get a little bit more speed. Mm, love it. Yeah. Let's see it. All right. Wow, that's a monster. That is humongous. <laughs> yeah, that was hit. <laughs> that was absolutely sent, and it had a lot more height on it. It did. Yeah, so usually if I'm trying to hit the hard one, I'll, I'll, I'm usually trying to carry something, mm -hmm. so I'll hit it um, a little bit higher, just get a little bit more distance out of it. Do you ever do that shot if you're like on a hole, maybe with an elevated tee and it's downwind? I'll usually only hit that if I need to cover something. A lot of times when the tee's elevated, I don't necessarily want it to be in the air that long. It, that tends to make the fairway a little narrower. So to get the ball in play, I'll usually hit it a little lower. Okay. Well, that's two out of two that were phenomenal. So let's do the third one. Third one. That kind of squeezy one. Yeah. Which a lot of golfers, particularly our viewers at home, you know, they really want to know how to play this shot because it's not easy. You make it look easy, but it's not. So I find the straightest club in my bag, if I hit driver off the deck, it always goes straight. It's hard to curve driver off the deck. Driver off the deck. If you have a good lie, it's hard to curve. I've curved it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll usually tee it up a little bit lower. I mean, that's pretty much in the center of the face if I was to sweep it off the ground. And then I'll just change heights by ball speed or by ball position. So if I want to hit it really low, I'll usually open my stance and put it further back so okay. it comes out straight. Mm -hmm. And then that's only if I'm trying to hit it extremely, extremely low. Extremely low. Are we talking like Daisy Chopper? Yes. Yeah, like we're going to take out some weeds there. Really? Are we going to get it over the wall? Yes. Hope, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully over the wall. So, I mean, in terms of like carry, this is really not about the carry. It's about the release. It's about the chase. And most of the time, especially if we're coming to play over here, it's all about getting that ball in the fairway and getting it running. Okay. And so let's... this hole isn't great for it because those two bunkers, but we'll try and split them anyways. Let's get it on the fairway and get it running. All right. I'm excited. So this one, I'll hit the really low in here. So I usually choke down just a touch and I'll open my stance. Because if I don't open it, then it's going to hook. Okay, good tip. Very good tip. And the ball comes towards the middle. Oh. <gasps> okay, you weren't lying. That really did do some green keeping on its way. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, they were three <laughs> phenomenal drives. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.